When you want the best, but don't want to spend the most. Come okay, on, everybody, here we go. Can I get somebody here right away on the double? Yeah, uh, Cookie. Names. Thanks. Okay, okay, got it. Hey, I need to do a sound check. All right, how you doing? Welcome to the show, blah, blah, blah. Hey, blah, contestants, blah. how you doing? Glad you could be here. How many people do we have playing today? Got it. Okay, now, player one, I need your name. Okay, thank you. Larry, it's good to have you back. Okay, player two, how about you? 45 seconds. We need him out there quickly. Thanks. Player three, how about it? One other thing. Are you looking for a seven-question tournament game or more like a full 21-question game? All right, that's what I needed okay. to know. That sounds 30 better. seconds. Great. Player one, you want to buzz in on the letter Q, as in quiet on the set! Player two, you have the letter B, as in butt steak. And player three, your buzzer's the letter P, as put a smile on your puss. Oh, isn't that a coincidence? Yes. Okay, just, all right, hang on. I need a PA here right now on the double. 20 seconds. All right, we got 20 seconds here, so listen up. And we're, uh, you're going to get a bunch of questions here. If you think you know the answer, buzz in. Then type a 1, 2, 3, or 4, whatever answer suits your fancy. You got it? 10 seconds. Okay, everybody, and be quiet. 86 to desktop, please. Okay, and go to black, please. Post standby. Okay, ready, come on, go. Okay, here we go. And dial 1-900-TART-B. Contestants! You don't know Jack! Now come on, be nice! Hi, nice contestants! That's better. <laughs> Pleasure to have you on the show. Let's get the ball rolling. Okay, first off, we gotta give you your screws. So here you go, giving all three of you one screw each for round one. Alright, now here's the deal with these screws. If you think your neighbor doesn't know the answer to a question, but you want to make them answer it anyway, buzz in and then hit the S key. That's S for screw. See, I made it easy to remember. Okay, my little raspberries, it's time to jam. Player one, it's up to you. What are we doing? Get ready for some fun. It's question number one. The category, Good Nutrition and the Little Rascals. Okay, shouldn't be too tough. This question's going to be worth a grand. Okay, we're coming at you. Heads up. Which of these is not both a grain and a member of our gang? Buckwheat, barley, farina, or alfalfa? Go for it, player two. Barley, it's not a member, but it is a grain that's often eaten. Now, Darla, on the other hand, I think you get the picture. What do you say, player two? How about it? Here's the category. Things you want to get off. A right answer will get you two G's for this question. Hope you're ready, because here's one coming at you. You're a man in England, and your date hands you a rubber. What should you put it on? Your pencil, your penis, your pimple, or your pickle? Player one. You knew it was too obvious, yet you picked it anyway. I gotta respect that. Go for it, player two. A rubber on your pimple? Hey, that's a real good way to get an infection. Go, girl. Your pencil. In England, a rubber is an eraser. Okay, we need a category for player three. All right, let's see what we're doing here. Grammar for idiots. Pop a right answer for this one, you got 3,000 greenbacks. Get ready to buzz, because here it comes. Inflammable is the flammable, as blank is the blank. No da is the da, impossible is the possible, accept is to accept, or doi is the way. Player two, what do you say? Not gonna do it. No da is to da. They sound like opposites, but inflammable and flammable mean the same thing. Look it up. Player 
This one's gonna be, it's so damn satisfying. And this one's gonna be worth $2,000. Get your eyes focused on the screen, here we go. What is the correct name for the white stuff in a Snickers bar? Chocolate, confectioner, sugar, retzen, or nougat? <laughs> Player three, take it. That's, uh, that's pretty way off. <laughs> go for it, player two. Nougat. Oh, it's so creamy. Category, player two, let's do it. Uh-oh, mess butt tit slime chore. It's time for a Tinker Lake Test Drop. Here's your gibberish category. Advice for preppy guys jumping for their dinner. Opening value on this gibberish question, 5,000 bucks. Okay, now remember, the faster you solve this puzzle, the more money you win. Okay, don't let the punctuation trip you up. What does this rhyme with? Leap the bip, supper ship. It has to do with part of your face. It's all yours, player two. Type in your answer and hit return. Are you talking to me on my show? I don't think so. Why don't you take a good look at your score? And next time, maybe you'll think twice before you flip me off. You know, I thought that would make me feel better, but I'm still pissed off. I don't think that punishment was adequate. And another thing, I don't like your name. Okay, now that we've dispensed with the pleasantries, let's get back to the game. Okay, which one of you two is going to take it? It has to do with part of your face below your eyes. Yes, there's your nose, but that doesn't rhyme with anything. Last hint, it's good advice if you upset easily. Player three, type in your answer and hit return. Hey, you know, I can only give you so many hints. Player one, want to try? All right, you didn't get this one, but don't start crying on me. You be tough. Leave the Biff supper ship. Oh. Guess you didn't leave the Biff after all. You just biffed. Player two, pick one. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Number six, it's number six, it's next up. Playing doctor with tweezers and electricity. And we are talking 1,000 bucks for this question. Remember the electrical game Operation by Milton Bradley? Which of the following is the best explanation? <laughs> Player two, what do you say? Gonna have to dock you for that. <laughs> Player one, player three, who's taking it? <laughs> Go for it. Hitting the metal edges with the metal tweezers completes the circuit. <laughs> But I have an idea for a really exciting game of operation. Wire a brain surgeon to an electric generator. I got it. Don't touch the skull. Player three, pick up. The category is, I wonder if he has a pouch. This question's going to be worth $2,001 bills. Hang on tight, because here we go. If there were a coup staged on the set of Captain Kangaroo, elevating Mr. Green Jeans one rank above the old captain, what would this new leader be called? Here's a little spending money. Major Green Jeans. Player 3, select the category. The category behind this question is, it kind of smells like raw fish. And this one's going to be worth $3,000. Okay, you're having a sushi dinner with friends. Tonight is kind of special. They put raw tuna, raw octopus, and cooked egg sushi. I think not. Player one, player three, who's taking it? Taco Taco Tamago. Always go for the alliteration. Oh, player three. In wrestling, we call this a reversal. Player one, give me a category. Number 
The name of this category is Cinematic Roadkill. And this one's going to be worth $1,000. Okay, hang tight. Put your fingers on your buzzers. Here's the question. If you were to make a stew from the carcasses of famous movie animals that have died on the big screen, which of the following would not be part of the recipe? Old Yeller from Old Yeller, Charlotte from Charlotte's Web. Go for it, player two. Ah, uh, no, the yearling dies in that movie. Um, but hey, it'll add that venison taste to your stew that kids love. Go for it, player one. Willie from Free Willie 2. However, I'm telling you right now, if they come out with another sequel, I can't be held responsible for my actions. Player one, pick one. Here's the category. Sart and Sprite. And we will pay out $3,000 for this one. Flight attendants, prepare for takeoff. The makers of the Canon Rebel say image is everything. The philosophers at Sprite counter that image is nothing, thirst is everything. What would proponents of existentialism say? <laughs> Gee, couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> oh, of course, as everyone knows, existentialists were big Gatorade drinkers. <laughs> Player one, go nuts. Image is the devil's poison, and that one reeks of Calvinism. <laughs> nice work on this one, guys. Try this. <laughs> Image is the sum of one's choices. Yeah, existentialists believe that we are defined by the choices we make. Uh, unfortunately, that doesn't make for a hell of a catchphrase. Okay, we're at the end of round one. Now on to round two. <laughs> All right, let me pull out some screws here. And everybody gets one. Here you go. Now, we are one round away from the jack attack, and all the questions in this round are going to be worth more than a round one. So pay attention, and let's do it. Let's have a category, player two. And now, 11. All right, let's see what we're doing here. Hey, what's on your mind? And this one shouldn't be too tough. 4K for this one. Okay, get yourself set. It's time. If there really were one noggin's worth of brains in your noggin... Player three, take it. Yeah, if you had two gills on your noggin, there'd be a job waiting for you at the carnival. And that would be wrong. Go for it, player one. One quarter pint. Player one and... Uh-oh, Test Nut Slick Crime Store. Once again, it's time for a... Ticklish Pastra. The category for this gibberish question, myths and legends of the farm. And if you're really fast, you can get up to 10,000 bucks for this gibberish question. Okay, to solve this puzzle, you gotta think fast because every second and a half, I'm ticking off a little bit of cash. Now, you might be familiar with cow calls. That's supposedly how you get cows into milk. I've tried cow calls. They don't work. Now tell me, what does this rhyme with? Heck, the calls. Myth, sows, love honey. Don't get tripped up by the punctuation. First hint, this involves some home decorating. It, it involves home decorating with kind of a seasonal flair. Come on, it's getting a bit chilly in here. All right, we're talking about home decorating with some nice greenery. Come on, what are you waiting for, Christmas? Well, looks like you get coal for the holidays this year. Heck, the calls, myth, sows, love, honey. Oh. Fa la 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 la, you loser. Okay, we need a category. Your pick, player two. This one's gonna be, just give her a wedgie, Reggie. I'm paying out $2,000 if you get this one right. Okay, get your fingers ready, let's get busy. Which one of the- Go for it, player three. There goes your money, honey. Just go ahead and leave, Steve. Now, that's one of the 50 ways to run out to the 7-Eleven to get some beer. What do you say, player two, how about it?
the category. Jesus Christ, were you born in a barn? And if you can figure this one out, I can pay you 4,000 bucks. Okay, let's get this ball rolling. According to Christian tradition, which of these is not one of the three wise men that visited Jesus in the manger? Oh, excuse me. Gaspar? Nope, he was a wise man and a very friendly ghost. Player one, go nuts! A scimitar is a curved sword. Perhaps that was used in the circumcision. Player one, give me a category. Uh-oh! West truck looks nine more! Once again, it's time for a... Snicker Clish Alright, now here's your category for this gibberish question. Marketing ideas ahead of their time. We're in round two, so this gibberish question is going to start off at $10,000. Now, you're going to have about 30 seconds to solve this puzzle, but I'm going to be taking a little bit of money away every second and a half. Now, you know there's no screwing your neighbor in this kind of a question. You ready to untangle some gibberish? Let's do it. What does this rhyme with? The Hormare yells, horrific. Bird tent, it's from a product in the 70s. And it's not a moon ring, and it's not a pet rock. It's for a product you use to clean your hair. So it's also not a lava lamp. It's all yours, player two, type. Uh. Hey, you gambled, and you ended up with craps. Tough break. Okay, now I need somebody who actually knows the answer. Last tent, it's also a compliment. Player three, type in your answer. Three hints and you still miss it? What, what else do you want from me? Well, I guess no one's ever said this to you. The Hormer yells horrific. Oh. Listen, don't be depressed. Your nose still probably smells terrific. <laughs> Player two, pick one. Question number 16. And I like it too. Next up. Hop along, Cassidy, in hell. Hello, this one's gonna be worth $6,000. Hope you're ready, because here's one coming at you. If the triumphant hero always rides a white horse, oh, go for it. War, what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Oh, go Famished? Bet some points would go down pretty good right now. Maybe next time. Actually, the correct answer is pestilence. <laughs> Yeah, in the book of Revelations, Pestilence rides the white horse. Yeah, he's a cheery little fellow who brings on fatal epidemics and looks surprisingly rugged in a pair of chaps. Category, player two, let's do it. The name of this category is... Poppin' Dead. You get this one right, you got 2,000 bucks coming at you. Get ready to buzz, cause here it comes. Before throwing them in the oven, you whip the Pillsbury Doughboy's arm off and... Look straight ahead and say, bye-bye. No, that's called stale. The yeast in the day-old Doughboy helps the next day's batch of sourdough to rise. Player one, pick one. Song to city. The category is, what did you call me? And this one's gonna be worth $2,000. Okay, let's get to the bottom of this once and for all. How do you literally translate Farvik Nugent? The people's car, the Fuhrer has landed. The pleasure of driving or made with Nugent? The pleasure of driving. When all this time, I thought it meant, please tailgate me, for I have introduced an annoying word into everyday English. What do you say, player two? How about it? Ooh, baby, the category behind this question is children's games and award banquets. This question's gonna be worth $2,001 bills. Hang on tight, cause here we go. If each of these children's games won an award, which one would be expected to think? Red Rover? Hmm, maybe a nice bomb would cure that. Ring Around the Rosy describes the process of dying from the plague. Ashes to ashes, they all fall down. 
Okay, we need to get it. Wow, honey! Hey! It's question number 20! <laughs> this one's gonna be, there's a fungus among us. A right answer will get you two G's for this question. Don't you hate it when you get that itching between your toes? At any rate, here's the question. Which is not a type of mushroom? Crapulous. <laughs> I think he's the guy who cleaned the toilets at the Roman Coliseum. Let's have a category player too. Enter the attack. If you see two words together and they form a match, buzz in. $2,000 will be yours if you're right, but each time you're wrong, 2000 shall be taken away. But be not fooled. It won't be a match unless it fits this clue. Goodbye wherever you are. That's your only hint. You're on your own for the rest. Goodbye. two players. Now that's what I like to see. Good job. Oh, one other thing? You don't know Jack. Hey, great show, everyone. Really, really great work. Cookies. 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 I am quite dissatisfied with the Emperor's breakfast cereal. It is so cold and impersonal. Wow! Hey, Kung Fu! Put down your chopsticks and grab a spoonful of my latest cereal, Rudy Choco Rice Balls, with little green nunchucks, purple throwing stars, and red chimronos. This cereal, it is delicious. It makes me want to do a roundhouse kick. Chuck Lee, you are truly the master of the breakfast world. I bow before you as a sign of ultimate respect. Rule number one, Grasshopper. Never let your guard down. Hiya! Right, ready! Domo arigato, buddy. Got a motor. Right, my name's Rex, <laughs> and I'm waiting for you to telephone me. Will you be my raster? Whoopsie, I go poopy on the carpet. <laughs> I've been a bad roggy, and I need a spanking. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> later, you can rub my rummy. <laughs> I rub it when you rub my rummy. <laughs> my right goes crazy. <laughs> I'm waiting for your crawl. Maybe Raider, you can give me a bone. Yes. Call 976-DOG today and spend some quality time with man's best friend. You've climbed the ladder of success as high as it will take you, and you deserve a chair, no, a throne, that is worthy of your upper esh tush. Execu throne. throne. Made from the finest Corinthian leather and hardiest Chinese porcelain known to man, the Execu throne permits you to stay at your desk 24, 24 hours, hours a day, so you won't lose those important business calls if nature should happen to call. Hello? Uh, no, that's not what I said. I said sell! Marge, get in here. I need you to take a letter. Man, I shouldn't have eaten that pot roast for lunch. Good thing I've got my executor throne. Uh... 
Thanks, Executhrone. The Executhrone, for when you're too busy to do your business anywhere else. And now, here are some hot scenes from next week's Pico Boulevard. I hate you, Steven. First you try to kill me, and then you convince a jury that I molested that Shetland pony, and now you want to marry me? Come on, Shasta. That was the past. What do you say? <laughs> Steven. Jimmy, that is totally inappropriate. Look, I expect to see all your reports on my desk by 5 o'clock today. Look, Samantha, I'm on to your scheming ways. What's the matter, Jimmy? Don't you find me attractive anymore? I mean, that's totally inappropriate. Oh, Samantha. On the next Pico Boulevard. Right after the season premiere of Buddies. Um, uh, Cookie, I need names, please. Yeah, no sweat. 